What's up, Zach King here from FinalCutKing.com, and I've got a tutorial for Effects Factory here. I'm going to show you how to do this effect. Let me play it for you. So the effect here is this screenshot. We want to make the background kind of this neon LED light effect, Little Wayne. Okay, so let's get started. I've got the green screen footage. That's how they did that shot. I've already got tutorials out there for motion for green screening, so click here if you don't know how to do that. I'm going to do it very quickly by going to add filter, king, primat RT. I'm going to go ahead and turn matte, noise remove all the way down, select green, matte density all the way up, right there, bring it back up a little bit, process foreground, looks a little green, go ahead and bring it there. That density comes up. And the great thing about this effect is your key does not have to be perfect because we're going to put that background. To do that, Shift Z will fit to window. And what I'm going to do is take this group and duplicate it, Command D. So this is our group copy. I'm going to call this the subject. This first group that we didn't name is called background. Let's go ahead and move the background this way. Hold shift while you pull it bigger. It's got to be like a zoom in. Pretty big. Give it some headroom there. Pull the green screen material this way. Now I'm going to open up the Effects Factory application here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to be using the LED lights filter. This is located here. It says in the stylized section. So I'm going to go to filter, stylize, Effects Factory Pro. LED lights. So there we get that wacky cool effect. I'm going to bring it down to 4 is my magic number. I know I need to adjust the exposure later but I'm going to do it now. Pull it up to about 1.44 something like that. Not too blown out. Now I want to grab a distortion effect. Pro distort chromatic. Okay and now I'm going to bring this frame margin down to 0 and the blur amount down to zero. Now that, when you do that, brings this really cool like rainbow effect in the background. Now we're not matching the music video effect that I showed you exactly. This is another variation that I have. Now this is a cool effect. If you hit the subject movie clip, what we're gonna do is go to add filter, go to stylize video, come down to spotlight multiple. Now this is pretty sweet. You're gonna see it already has a cool effect. So this light is the red one. Point 0.3, this is point 0.4, this is blue. Okay, now let me show you how to bring the brightness up. If you want, you can pull this way up here like this, move these lights around. It's a little too much for me. This is a really cool music video effect that you can use by simply green screening your subjects. Now let's say we actually want to match the exact colors that we saw here in this music video, this brownish color. Not too hard, let me show you how. Grab the LED lights. I'm going to change the light color to that brownish color that we saw in the music video. Like that, that covers that color. Now select your chromatic aberration. Now let me just show you some really cool things though. If you want random colors and variations in here, select like I did the green or I could do the red. And you're going to see this is pretty sweet, the kind of stuff that can happen. This is just from one effect, one filter here. Now one thing I would also do here is for the spotlight, I would come to the inspector. Let's go to the factory presets by FX Factory. And I'm going to go to single light on top. So that's sweet. I'm going to change these points of lights too much. I'm realizing it changes a little bit of the LED lights. I want that changed. I would also select our original subject. Go ahead and go to color correction desaturate, not all the way. If you're just not feeling this rainbow color, go ahead and delete this chromatic filter. I want to go up to add filter again, FX Factory Pro Glow, and we're going to hit the regular glow here. Turn down the radius, and there's the glow effect you're seeing in the Little Wayne video. So many variations with this filter. This is from FX Factory. If you want to download it for free and try it out for a trial, check it out, noiseindustries.com. 
here's the website you can download it right here it's a trial what you get is this cool application it includes a lot of other effects and some freebies and they just added a new one the other day called camera shake so you can check that out go to finalcutking.com more tutorials there this was a fun motion tutorial just shows you the possibilities of using the effects factory plugins so much you can customize so much you can do just with a few filters like I showed you today. Let me know if you've used Effects Factory before and let me know what you think. Comment below.